I let the girls out today. They've been cooped up since, well, spring. But yeah, now that the garden is about done, I figured let them out and enjoy. They'll make their way over here. Gorgeous day to lay in the hammock and to look up at the sky. We had all of the um, onions laying out here in our little greenhouse. Um, Steve, it's got holes all in it where it needs the new plastic, but instead of doing that, Steve just put plain plastic on top, which worked to keep the water out, but uh, put the onions in here to dry. We had them on the other side too. Let me spin you around. Had these over here and I've already cleaned those. And I need to clean this up when I'm all done. Found a couple of them that was rotted, but all I'm doing is, uh, I don't have my tripod, but I'm just cutting this part off. I take off the first layer of the skin because most of it, like see here, is that's just dirty. And then I'll cut the root part off of it up here. And then we'll store them down in the basement. Here's the ones I've done already. Most of them aren't very big, but look how pretty that is with the sun shining on it. So pretty. Willow's wanting to get to it, but nope, she's not supposed to have onions. Glad I got this little one for the camper. Um, 
it just charges. You can hang it up. I got it for the um, our camper van, but in the kitchen, oh, it puts out a lot of air. <laughs> it's really nice to work in the kitchen. So let me show you what I'm getting ready to do. All right, I got that many onions, red onions. So what I decided to do, since they're not great big onions, and we're going to be just mostly cooking with these. They're not going to be used for sandwiches or anything, even though you can use diced onions on sandwiches. I just I'm going to go ahead and get them cleaned, dice them up in the food processor and freeze them. Look at this silly tomato. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it's a funny looking one. I got to get the, yeah, I want to get all of my tomatoes uh, processed today. They're starting to slow down. They're, I've still got quite a few green ones on the vine, but they haven't reddened yet. So I'm just try. I'm trying to do everything as I get enough to do any type of canning or whatever I happen to be doing with them um, as they come on, so they don't get ruined and rotted. Like I have one here that's got a bad split in it, so I can just cut all that off and take care of it. Busy, busy time of year, but one of my favorites. Just to let you guys know that anyone that's interested is you can um, freeze the whole onions, but you've got to blanch those first. You do not have to when you dice them. So I'm just going the easy way. All right, what I did here, the fan was too loud, so I had to do a voiceover. But I just cut all the ends off of them, took the outer layers of the onion off, cut them in half and threw them in the processor. All right, I ended up with um, 18 of these bags. There's about a cup to a cup and a half, give or take, in each one of these little bags. And then each of the big ones has nine um, of the bags in those. So 18 bags. I ended up using this fan and I'm telling you, I don't know if I could have done it without this. And I use those glasses that go, sunglasses that go over top of my regular glasses. And to keep some of that onion away from my eyes and they still burned a little bit but oh boy those two were a saving grace to me so I got the on I got the onions all done and look how it stained my fingers can you tell they look dirty bruised but they're not I have been working on trying to learn now this is I know it doesn't look good this is just yarn that I had in my bag that was just uh, pieces but I'm trying to learn how to do a granny square. My grandma ended up making me a big uh, cover quilt like for when I got married doing uh, granny squares. And I can crochet, but I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. I always have had trouble doing these, but this one turned out pretty good. I'm pretty pleased. So I think I'm gonna try and get me some yarn soon. Um, and maybe I'll make us one for our bed or uh, for the van or something. Uh, Steve has been out working on making a uh, holder to put all the potatoes on. I'm going to insert some pictures here of how he made it and then once he got it in the basement full of the potatoes. And what I've been doing outside also. <laughs> Steve went out to the mailbox and my friend Patty, the one I went to Kentucky with the other day, I loved her uh, cell phone holder in her car, and she bought me one and had it sent to the house. Let me open it, and I'll show you. All right. It actually, I love it because it hooks into the air vent, and it's got the little hook there to keep it in place. The one that I have in the car is constantly loose, and Patty said this does not loosen up. It's got this, like, um, material stuff in the back. And it, it twists, and it's really awesome. But thank you, Patty. I don't know if she watches our videos, but I'll just say thank you anyway, and then I'll let her know. I'll text her. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. And uh, we will talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye. Willow says bye.